Hey everyone, how you doing? Um, if, you, if you're as happy as I am right now, you're feeling pretty good. Why am I happy? Because I finally got out to play some golf. The storm came through, didn't really do a whole lot with me. Got some rain, got a little yard stuff, no big deal. But the west of me, Santa Maria, Beaver Creek, Dumas, Webb, all the golf courses I played, they got hammered pretty good. So they've been closed. They finally opened up today, some of them. Some of them are still closed. <sighs> When's the last time I started a, a week off without playing golf? I can't remember. <laughs> I don't know. I, don't, <laughs> I was surprised I could wake up this morning after two days of not playing golf. It was impossible to feel that. Yep. <sighs> but anyway, listen, I, I put some videos out today, you know, you know for Larry and for Dale. I hope you guys got those and you saw what you want. If not, you know how to let me know. I'll give you some more. Okay. But I was talking about tracing a, a imaginary line that's up here. Okay. Now, if you're a visual golfer, this you, you'll understand what I'm talking about. But if you're a field golfer, maybe, maybe not. Okay. All right. You know, Larry wanted to see some, you know, some more lineup sticks, you know, to see the target. And I, I was telling you guys, my swing, my swing thought, my swing path and my swing thought is from one to seven. Six and 12, one to seven. That is how I set up. Start them behind the ball. Okay. Look, it's so easy. Let's make this game easy easy if you can see your one once you establish your numbers one seven six twelve okay that's up to you the protocols don't change the ball's back off back foot starting behind the ball swing like a monkey it doesn't change the numbers change for you you've got to go find that out for yourself but once you find that out and if you are using the clock thing on the ground, which I find very helpful for me, visual, visual golfer really helps out. You can draw a line. You can draw a line one to, one to seven, okay? And you can trace that line. In my hands, that club is nothing more than a pencil. I'm tracing the line. When I go back, it does what it wants to do. I'm trying to keep the pencil looking at the sky. I don't care what the hands do. It doesn't matter. Forget about it. Hinge back, hinge forward. Yeah, okay. Look, I hear it already. Uh, you can't hinge. That's bad. Really? Hinging is bad? How about rolling? How many of you guys out there roll your hands? Now, that's bad. Keep it on plane, that's one thing. But when you roll it and get that club behind you, you're done. Forget about it. But if you hinge like a door, like a fishtail, hey, John, how you doing? Like a fishtail. It's all good in the hood, buddy. Trace that line, one to seven, or maybe you're more of a two to eight guy. Could be. You won't know till you get out there and find it. Folks, that's where so much fun is getting out there and finding your swing. After that, it's over. And like I always say, you can forget about it. Then you can practice some other things like the short game. But get that pencil moving, tracing that line, just dragging the paper. Forget about them big old divots. Just sweep the ball. And watch it go. That's what I did today. And that's what I was trying to show y'all out there on those videos. All right. Like I say, Larry and, and uh, my, my buddy over there in Houston, Dale, if you need some more, let me know. Or if, or if anybody else wants to see something else, just let me know. Uh, GSWalters53 at yahoo.com. 985-634-8625. I'm here. You want to see something? Just let me know. Bye, you golf.
I had a good one, a real good one, and I hope you're having a good one too.